Hey guys, it's Chris Angel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Nextdoor.com to listen to your target market. Now, listen, this is really important. So many people just put marketing together and throw it out to the world and hope that it resonates, right? Um, if you were in my book club, my Smart Farm book club, uh, the book we just finished is Utility, which talks about being helpful and not just marketing to people with your services all the time, but actually getting to the top of the funnel and adding value to people in ways that would be valuable to them, right? And one of the best ways to do that is to actually listen to what your target market wants, okay? One of the great ways to do that is through online forums, chat, etc. What's cool about nextdoor.com is that you can actually go in and listen to what people are asking for, okay? So let me show you really quick inside of nextdoor.com how this works. Now, I'm gonna blur out my screen just for privacy purposes and anybody posting on Nextdoor in my neighborhood, but I will sort of talk you through this. So, you know, look, this is my home page when I log in to nextdoor.com. And as I scroll down, um, it'll ha start to have different posts chronologically from the newest to the oldest. So somebody's selling a Lego table um, down here. Somebody wants a contractor recommendation. And they actually say like they went onto uh, Angie's list, but they read the reviews and they weren't very great. Okay, if you scroll down, um, you can see there's somebody wants dog sitting. Uh, let's keep scrolling here. Uh, somebody's talking about the last week for yard waste collection before it's winter time where I live, and and uh, they won't you know the city won't collect yard waste anymore. All of these are great examples of not only posts that you can make on your blog, but posts for Facebook. You could go interview a contractor. You could drop right in here and, and recommend a contractor. Okay, you could uh, talk. You could go interview a master gardener about compost and how to take the leaves from your that have fallen that the city now won't collect, and how to use those for compost. So you can come in here and start to find ways to be relevant. And not only could you post to your blog or to Facebook, you can actually come right into nextdoor.com and post, right? Now, that's great for a couple of reasons. If you're using some of my other strategies in my farm, my Smart Farming Academy, right, where we're layering in your images and you're watermarking your images, you're um, interviewing businesses in the community, people are gonna be seeing your name, right? Now, if you come back in here to nextdoor.com and you actually start to participate in these, these chats, these chat threads, this is one more layer, one more place for people to get to know you as somebody that's helpful and not just another agent who's always self-promoting, but somebody who's actually a part of the community and has great ideas. This is a great place for you to build authority and influence with people, okay? So I really like um, nextdoor.com for the purpose of being able to listen to what is important and on the minds of your target market, okay? So I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, throw in the comments uh, any ideas or questions you might have and I'll circle back and answer those for you. If you liked this video, hit like or add a comment, right? Let me know that this is resonating with you, okay? Don't just watch it and go on. Like if this was helpful, hit like on the post, okay? Thanks, see ya.